Hello everyone, I'm Grzegorz Dudek. The co-author of this work is my PhD student Paweł Pełka. We are from Częstochowa University of Technology, Poland. And I'm happy to present our research results on pattern-based long short-term memory for mid-term electrical load forecasting. After a short introduction, I will describe electrical load time series and their representation, which is crucial in this study. Then I present the forecasting models based on LSTM. I will present results on some experimental study on real-world data. And I'll conclude the work. Load or electricity demand forecasting is an essential tool for power system operation and planning. Mid-term load forecasting is necessary for maintenance scheduling, planning of fuel reserve, energy import-export, and also security assessment and contract negotiations on the energy markets. The power system load is a non-stationary process that can undergo rapid changes due to several factors such as weather, microeconomic variations, electricity prices, consumer types, their habits, and many others. So load forecasting is a complex problem. In our early works on load forecasting, we used time series representation based on patterns of seasonal cycles. We built pattern similarity models and we use pattern representation in machine learning models. This representation brought quite good results. In this work, we combine pattern representation with LSTM. Recent works reported that recurrent neural networks, such as LSTM, provide high accuracy on forecasting and outperforms uh, the traditional statistical and machine learning methods. Our goal is to improve accuracy of LSTM using the proposed pattern representation. Mid-term load forecasting methods can be roughly divided into statistical or conventional methods, such as ARIMA exponential smoothing and uh, linear regression, and machine learning or computational intelligence methods. Of these, neural networks are the most popular because of their attractive features. Especially useful in time series forecasting are recurrent neural networks, which can exhibit temporal dynamic behavior using the internal state to process sequences of inputs. It is worth mentioning that models using LSTMs won recently the most renowned forecasting competition, M4 Markidakis competition. Let's look at the monthly electricity demand time series. They usually express a trend, yearly cycles, and random component. Note nonlinear trend and strong yearly cycles with changing patterns over the years. Box plot shows that yearly dispersion changes significantly over time. These all time series features should be captured by the forecasting model. The time series representation is a key component in the construction of forecasting models. It should simplify the forecasting problem and relationships between forecasted variables and predictors. The simplified problem can be solved using simpler models, which produce more accurate forecasts. To deal with uh, multiple seasonal cycles and trends in our area work, we use pattern representation of the seasonal cycles, which we use also in this work. The goal is to filter out the trend and data unification. In this solution, the time series is divided into yearly subsequences expressed by vectors EI, and after preprocessing by 12 component patterns XI. The X pattern components are calculated by subtracting the annual average demand E bar from the monthly demand and dividing by the annual dispersion sigma. Patterns xi are normalized vectors. They all have unity length, zero mean, and the same variance. They carry information about the shapes of the yearly subsequences. Now we create a new time series composite of x patterns representing successive yearly periods. Compare the original time series and the X time series. As you can see, X time series has zero mean and the same yearly variation. We expect these features simplify the forecasting. Forecasting model learns on X pattern time series 
and produces the forecast of the X pattern for the next year. The forecasted monthly electricity demands are calculated from the forecasted X patterns using transformed equation for pattern components. But in this equation, the coding variables EI bar and sigma i are not known because they are related to the future yearly subsequence, which has just been forecasted. So the coding variables should be forecasted from the historical values. We use exponential smoothing for this. To avoid forecasting the coding variables, we propose alternative approach. Instead of using the mean and dispersion of the forecasted subsequence as coding variables, we use the mean and dispersion of the preceding subsequence, EI minus 1, which is known at the moment of forecasting. In this approach, the yearly subsequence of the time series, EI, are represented by Y patterns, with components defined similarly to X pattern components. Although this approach doesn't guarantee that all Y patterns have the same mean and variance, as in the case of X patterns, it unifies subsequences of the original time series, taking into account the current process variability expressed by mean and dispersion of the previous period. New time series is composed with Y patterns representing successive yearly periods. This time series is forecasted for the next period, and the monthly electricity demand are calculated from the transformed equation for uh, components of Y patterns. Compare the Y time series, lower panel, with original and X time series. Y time series is not as regular as X time series, but its mean is close to zero, and its variance doesn't change significantly. LSTM is a recurrent neural network for learning problems related to sequential data. The main idea behind LSTM is a memory cell, which retains its state over time, and nonlinear gating units which regulate the information flow in the cell. LSTM is a general model which is very effective at capturing long-term or temporal relationships. Figure 2 shows LSTM block use in this study. This is a classical solution. At time step t, the block uses the current state of the network and the next time step of the sequence, zt, to compute the output, ht, and updated cell state, ct. Output stage, ht, is further processed by the linear unit to get the next time series element ZT plus 1 as an output. The forward pass of the LSTM is described by the set of equations. We use three variants of the forecasting models depending on the time series representation denoted as LSTM for forecasting the original time series, LSTM X for forecasting X time series, and LSTM Y for forecasting Y time series. LSTM-X model, which is the most complex, is shown in the figure. In this case, for forecasting mean yearly demand and its dispersion, we use two exponential smoothing models. The LSTM learns to predict the value of the next time step. For multiple time steps, for 12 months in our case, we predict time steps one at a time and update the network state at each prediction. For each prediction, the previous prediction is used as input to the network. The proposed LSTM models are applied for midterm load forecasting using real world data. The monthly electricity demand time series for 35 European countries. The models forecast for the 12 months of the last year of data, 2014, using data from the previous period for training. The data are shown in the figure. Uh, note that the time series have different lengths, levels, trends, variations, and yearly shapes. We use MATLAB implementation of LSTM. 
number of hidden nodes was tuned and other parameters remained at the default values. As comparative models, we used ARIMA, exponential smoothing, and multilayer perceptron. Results. At the beginning, we assessed dispersion of the forecast generated by the models in 100 runs. Dispersion is defined here as a ratio of standard deviation of forecasts in 100 runs to the median. The figure shows forecast dispersion for each month. It can be seen that LSTMX generated the least dispersed forecasts at around 1-2%. The basic variant of LSTM gave more scattered forecasts from about 2-3%. to And LSTMY generated more scattered forecasts from 3-6%, to and that dispersion for longer horizons was higher. The table summarizes the accuracy of models showing median of absolute percentage errors, the mean values, interquartile ranges as a measure of forecast dispersion, and root mean square error. LSTM X gives the best results among the LSTM models. This variant may compete with comparative models. It is difficult to select the most accurate model because each error measure indicates a different model as the most accurate. And deeper analysis of the LSTM errors. Figure 8 depicts empirical probability density functions of the percentage errors. And Table 2 shows the basic percentage error descriptive statistics. In all cases, the forecasts are overestimated, having a positive percentage error mean. The LSTM model is the most biased, and LSTMX the least. The ranking showing how many times a model took ith position. There are 300 positions, that is, 3 models multiplied by 100 runs. As you can see from this figure, LSTMX most often reached the highest positions in the ranking, and LSTMY most often reached the lowest positions. We can improve accuracy and stability of the learning models by building the ensembles. To build LSTM ensembles, uh, we simply combine the forecast generated in 100 trials by averaging. The results are shown in Table 3. Comparing this to results presented in Table 1, we can notice a decrease in error for all LSTM models. Figure 10 depicts examples of forecasts generated by LSTM models for four countries. Quite good forecasts for Poland and Germany. For Great Britain, the forecasts are underestimated. This results from the fact that demand went up unexpectedly in 2014, despite uh, the downward trend observed in the previous period. The opposite situation for France caused a slight overestimation of forecasts. Conclusion Forecasting model accuracy depends heavily on the appropriate time series preprocessing. The proposed X-pattern representation improves LSTM performance. This is because the preprocessed time series is are more regular, relationship between inputs and outputs uh, is simplified and easier to learn. The LSTMX results are comparable with those uh, generated by multilayer perceptron and exponential smoothing, and sampling decreases further the errors. In relation to the comparative models, LSTM is much more complex. Its learning and optimization time is much longer. Next step are building more sophisticated models based on LSTM, uh, that is hybrid and hierarchical model combining exponential smoothing, stacked residual delayed LSTM, and ensembling. This model was developed with cooperation with Suavex Mill with, uh, from Uber, uh, M4 competition winner. And the extended version of this model working on X patterns. Thank you very much for your attention.